Hi, and continuing on, basically we'll show you with the unit, now we'll remove the rotisserie. Now you do want to have a rotisserie machine, but the cup hooks are located just up in the ceiling of the machine. And you want it to hang the bars so that it's slightly off center. You don't want them exactly in the center because then they'll be like in the same little stream of water. If, if the center point is like this, then the water is constantly showing. And then if it's a little bit off, then it's kind of like flowing up against the bars. Now you can see there is mild wear and where the molecules are coming off the bars. I've been using these bars for a few years. It does take quite a few years for the bars to deteriorate. Um, basically, you just have the chains into the cup hook. Um, the one high voltage wire comes to the one bar, and the other volt wire basically goes back and is connected to ground. Um, this is the standard manual model, and to run it, you would push the times in and cycle it in and cycle it time and time, like I showed you on the other video there. But uh, the other thing we have is a semi automatic manual. And we'll just move this a minute. We left the covers off them just to make it easier to see. The semi-automatic has a different thing into it. In the back here, we have a temperature sensor that monitors the temperature of the air be of, uh, in the back here. Now, normally we would have just our pitcher of water inside that goes in and you put the bars in it. And it runs like that. Well, as the electricity flows through the water, the water gets warm. Now, you don't want the water to get too warm. So the thermostat is set at about 85 degrees or so, so that when the water gets up about 110 degrees, it makes this warm enough that it shuts the power off so that it's no longer warming. But also with this one here, we've directed the flow of the air from the cooling fan directly into the unit and across the, the, the pitcher of water to uh, help keep the water cool and to cool it down so if the water temperature is too hot. We also block the flow of the air around the microwave where normally the air, this here is a piece of weather stripping that's been put in, normally the air flows around the outside because of the cooling fan. Uh, we've blocked it at the bottom and at the top, so now all the air has to go through the entire unit, and then it comes back through these other perf holes in the top and in the side. And, and oh, this helps the condensation problems and uh, helps the cooling factor. So that uh, with these models, the semi-automatic, it makes it simpler. You would simply put the water in and basically, well, press the clear button, and then just 99, 9, 99 minutes and 99 seconds, and then the power level on two for the first run, you hit start, let it run for 99 minutes. Uh, later on, after it's cooled off, you come back and you, it, it, you'd run it again 99 minutes at power level one, and it would run again, and when it's done those two cycles, the water would usually be up into the 10, 11 parts per million and you only have to run two cycles on the semi-automatic where the uh, uh, manual one you may run the water through five ten fifteen times depending on the size of the pitcher usually about five to ten times um, and also it makes a difference with the silver on the moon phase uh, we've noticed that different phases of the moon it takes longer periods for the water to be made so if you're making it near the full moon, it takes a longer period for the water. Now I also have an automatic machine. Now with the automatic one, it has three lights. I don't have one because as soon as I make them, they're out the door. Uh, they basically have three little LEDs and again, has the bars and everything. But with the automatic one, the temperature sensor goes right on the bar. And we don't have to measure the temperature of the water because if we measure the temperature of the bar, the silver is a, the, one of the most thermally conductive materials known. So we just put a thermistor in here, run a little wire off to a little computer system that basically maintains ideal temperature of the water. It pulse width modulates the voltage. And with the automatic one, you just simply uh, shut the door, it runs, 
and when it's done it shuts off automatically when it's shut off you open the door there's a little button on the inside you push it to reset it take your water out pour off the top part and basically I'll just show you that because you want to do that here we have a batch that's, that's, that's done and you have lost some from evaporation so we'll just pour it into a bottle here sorry you don't need to shoot by with the camera back and forth we'll pour this into another bottle and then we just simply refill it with so distilled water well, this is about a quarter full you we refill it with distilled water and put it in and begin our batch over again now also I've noticed if you notice on the bottles there's on the glass there's a bit of a build up on the container I was cleaning that all the time but then I found later that the water seems to make a little faster and easier if I allow that silver to stay in there and so basically you well, we'll put the rotisserie back on now the one important thing about the rotisserie is it keeps the water flowing over the bars so that as soon as one molecule comes off the water is flushing it and it keeps it singular silver molecules uh, when you're allowing your water to cool off or not putting it in the machine we always keep it covered um, another rule of thumb that if you happen to have a strange bug or something go into the water we just throw it up put it into another gallon and we use that in the gardening and uh, don't use that for our regular production water that's the basic uh, run over on how to make a silver machine we uh, have the bars here the stainless steel food grade and although we're looking at the nuance just basically having a solid silver bar all the way up bend the silver put your voltage hook it up your chains to maintain it properly positioned um, anytime you cut or drill we always go over it with epoxy so that you're not going to have any rust or corrosion problems with removing the metal from the other unit to make the semi-automatic we always paint over the metal that we've cut away so that there's no rust problems on it and uh, oh, also with the automatic one there's a couple little controls up in here where you can actually fine-tune the, uh, the parts per million of silver that you desire from your unit and uh, basically uh, I want people to know how to build these machines so that the whole world can go on out and build them themselves uh, I would appreciate it if you build one and you use my information and it's a blessing to you send me fifty dollars help me out so that I can get more information out help me to help others this thing here that you say coil silver will kill swine flu I never get flu viruses or colds I use it for everything up in my nose and for deodorant and for my hair and I just feel a whole life my whole world's come alive I feel better now at the age of 54 than I did when I was 24 and it, I want to get this information out that all the world can know about it if every other household took this microwave and converted it into a silver machine the whole world the only one that would be uh, messed up would be the drug companies they would lose well I'm sorry to have a healthy world and a healthy planet this is the best health care thing on the going if you don't address this information and get this onto the world people don't care about health care I've got testimonials I've got references and so much feedback and information that it's pretty much understandable that this technology has been and uh, they want it suppressed so my name is Bruce McBurney if you want any information I'm Bruce at HiMacResearch.com HiMacResearch.com is my website explains on technology where cars can get five times the gas mileage been suppressed by the oil companies uh, I've learned this I wanted to share it out and uh, I've uh, basically uh, I think we've covered most things the other thing I'm just thinking off the top of my head one other thing I also do on the units because these are fused units they're made to work as a microwave for a safety precaution I usually put a little uh, 12 amp circuit breaker in there so if the water if somebody puts it in for too long or they forget it or do something they make a mistake it'll pop the safety break now the reason this makes much better water is it's the high voltage and this is far superior to the other ones so just gonna sign off now and thank you very much for watching this I hope you share this information everybody's got to know the truth and how to make colloidal silver properly thank you very much